Making your business card stand out is extremely important from the way you conduct business to how you introduce it. It's not a new concept at this point. Adding an NFC chip to a business card, extending your experience from the card to the web. With just a tap, you can book a meeting, showcase a video, add a contact, or generate a lead. I've reviewed almost every single smart business card on the market, but by popular demand, I'm showing you everything Mobilo has to offer in their latest business card. A card with a simple user experience that doesn't overcomplicate the design and setup, but has a powerful backend operation. A quick shout out to Mobilo for sponsoring this video, but that does not mean that my opinion on this card is influenced at all. My business card comparison briefly goes over all of the competition, but this video is going in depth on everything Mobilo offers from the design to the optional destinations to link to, and even the advanced features that make Mobilo a leader in the smart business card game. So use the chapters down below to jump to a specific section. Also feel free to use the QR codes throughout this video to view the experience on your phone. Now let's get into it. Mobilo offers an array of smart business cards, all of which I have here, by the way, ranging from a classic white option, a wood option, and a metal option. All come in very slim profiles, a custom design on the front, and a QR code on the back. Wood comes with both a lighter birch option and a darker option as well. Metal comes in gold, silver, and my personal favorite, black. All of these options allow for full control and customization of the front of your card using their in-house design team going through a formal QA process with you and your team, and fast shipment, which can be rushed for same day shipment. You also get the option to customize the QR code to the right shape and color that suits your business, which I thought was a really unique option. On the classic card, I went with a full color logo that runs edge to edge with my logo peeking out, and a simple QR code that's on the back. On the wood option, which has gotta be my favorite for that unique look and feel that seems like it's gonna catch a lot of attention, I've got a knockout version of my design. And then on the metal option, I went with a black stainless steel look that feels extremely premium and eye-catching. This metal card comes with Mobilo branded wallet, which you can also customize with your brand, by the way, just by reaching out to Mobilo directly. And because it's an embedded NFC chip, they've extended to additional accessories like an NFC key fob and NFC smart button. You can't buy these, by the way, individually, but you can get them as add-ons to your business card. And those will basically link directly to where your business card links to because they're all attached. So if you wanna link out to different areas on different devices, you essentially need a different card for every destination you wanna to link to. So once you order your card, you'll start to receive emails that dive deeper on how to create your profile using either the dedicated app for iOS or for Android, or using the web app if you're using desktop. I'm gonna go more in depth on all those dashboards later in the video, but now let's just dive deep into those destinations that are available when you tap. So with a quick tap within the app, you can change the destinations for your cards, including business card, social profile, lead generation, or a link to a URL. Whatever you choose will automatically change that destination of your card in real time and its companion accessories automatically. So you can't link to one place with your card and another place with your key fob. They both have to go to the same place. You can, however, have two separate business cards with different accessories attached to them that do go to different links. So just know if you buy one card and compatible accessories, they all have to be linked together. Starting with the business card option, tapping your phone will automatically open your browser with a simple interface and attempt to download the contact file. Most phones are automatically gonna open this in your contact app pulling in all your details filled out on your profile and allowing you to hit the share button and then save to contacts. Others will simply download the VCF contact file, which you can open in your contacts app. So it just depends on which phone you have and how it interacts with that. You'll notice that all my links are Mobilo links, which allow for powerful analytics to tell when someone has actually clicked on one of those links, all of which I'll show in the dashboard a little later on when we look at that. If you want those links to be clean links, just like twitter.com slash profile, you can simply turn off link tracking in the app. If you fill out notes or your optional real estate license in your social profile, those are simply added to the notes section in your contact file. Now, a question a lot of people will have here is, will the contact card automatically update if I change the info on my profile? And the answer to that is no. And that's not a limitation by Mobilo, by the way, it's just that contact files aren't able to update live. So if you did update your information, they'd simply need to tap again to get that contact file and then it could update in your contacts app. But overall, the business card option is a simple solution to share all your contact info without overcomplicating that process. 
Next up, we've got the social profile option, which is simply a landing page that adds in your photo, the option to save your contact info, which by the way, downloads that file again and then links to your entire profile. This is one of the simpler landing pages I've seen across cards, which unlike some competitors, don't have the option to customize this page or move links around or feature files or documents. But again, Mobilo is all about creating a simple and effective experience on the front end and then an extremely powerful experience on the back end. Plus, if you did go with the Teams option, then you do have the option to customize and brand that page. But on the standard package, you're not getting that ability to customize. So this is what it would look like. The good thing about this option is that once you update your info on the app, if the recipient just refreshes the link in their browser, those links will automatically be updated. The URL of this profile is complex, by the way, so you don't have to worry about a patterned URL that anyone could guess, making it a lot more secure than others. The custom link option allows you to add any URL destination that you want, and once tapped, you'll get analytics for how many times that that site has been accessed. And the flexibility of that option means that you could link directly to a document or a video in my case, or a specific website. Lastly, we have the lead generation tool. And this, by the way, is the only smart business card that offers this feature at no additional charge, at least that I've tested. Tapping brings you to another Mobilo generated page where the user can fill out their info. That'll usually be auto-filled, and then once complete, they'll move on to the next page to fill out more details and up to 20 additional questions that you can set. These questions can be in the format of text boxes or just simply check marks, and they can be marked as optional or required. And next, the cool part is a lot of different things are gonna happen. So number one, they'll be redirected to download your business card. Number two, they'll receive a text with your contact info for reference. Number three, you'll get a text with their information automatically and 3A sort of, if you have the data enrichment package, which is an additional fee, you'll get a text with additional details found on the web, like their LinkedIn URL, their website, their company size, which no other competitors are doing on the market. Number four, it'll send to your Mobilo dashboard where you can see the details like where you met, contact them, leave notes for more details, and even change their status from new to awaiting reply, follow up and archive. Number five, you'll be able to export a CSV of all of your leads. And number six, if you purchased the automation and CRM integration, then it'll leverage a pre-built Zapier integration to have your leads automatically entered into 3000 plus connected apps like a CRM, Google Sheets, MailChimp if you want them to subscribe to your newsletter, and just a bunch more. So overall, that's six different things that happen just by filling out this form, but all of which lead to a better pre-qualification of your leads when you meet them, and a seamless integration to sign them up for your newsletters, integrate them with your CRM, and keep track of your leads altogether. So overall, a really great experience. One thing I like about Mobilo is that they offer both the ability to manage your card on the web, but also through a dedicated app for iOS and Android. Usually, it's one or the other. So the main page features news and featured updates from Mobilo, new leads received, and history of all the taps that have happened recently. From the menu, you can change your profile settings like your business card profile, entering all links, details, and your photo. Your lead generation profile, including sending an SMS to your leads, collecting company information, and adding custom fields. The data dashboard shows you how many interactions you've had and what links that they clicked on. Your cards tab shows you all your business cards, allowing you to reassign the cards, open a QR code, and change the destination of the card in real time. The leads tab shows you a list of your leads, including where you met them, when, a status for where they are in your pipeline, contact details, any notes you want to leave, and results from the lead form. You can also filter these leads by status as well, which is really helpful. Share gives you quick access to your pages from contact details, your personal landing page, and lead generation. Also, a unique feature to Mobilo is a widget that you can pin to your home screen for convenient access which I actually haven't seen anybody else doing yet. So all in all, it's an easy to use app with an equally simple desktop experience. This desktop app is a really great feature for anyone who doesn't wanna use their phone and not many competitors have a full desktop dashboard like this. On the dashboard, you have all your analytics from taps in the last two weeks or all time, geodata from where actions have actually happened, a feed of news, leads, and your latest interactions, card mode usage, taps by day, and link clicks. Just like on the mobile app, you have your settings and lead gen settings. Now leads is where it differs a little bit from mobile because here you get a whole layout in lead book with easy access to the status. Plus you get this lead board that shows you a more visual representation of your leads and where they're at within your pipeline. These by the way are not customizable as of yet at the time of making this video, 
which would have been a nice to have. Under cards, you get a list of all the cards and their settings, like where they're linking to. And under signature, you get an automatically generated email signature that pastes into emails and that QR code linking to the same place that the card does itself. So overall, the dashboard is a clean interface to give all the info briefly, plus sort of a built-in CRM in a lot of ways. So even though you can export these leads to your own database, you wouldn't necessarily need to. In terms of the cost, there's a couple of different options. At the lowest cost, which is the plastic card like the one I have here, but it's Mobilo branded, it's a one-time $7 fee and you get access to everything that I've mentioned in this video. For a custom design, it's regularly $39 for plastic, $79 for custom wood, and $189 for metal. Then on top of that price, you can add on the NFC smart button or the key fob, each for $2.50. Then there's an optional subscription, including the automation and CRM, which is $20 per year to integrate with your Zapier account to do things like connect with your CRM, send to Google Sheets or MailChimp, or pretty much anything else that's supported through the Zapier automation platform. There's also that data enrichment add-on that I talked about to automatically source the lead's title, company size, location, website, and LinkedIn URL, and that is $10 a month, but really helpful if you're doing a lot of networking and you want that info really easily. So who should really use Mobilo? All in all, I would summarize this card as simple on the front end and enhanced on the back end. While others focus on the heavy customization on the front end and taking full control of the look of their custom landing page, Mobilo makes connecting as simple as possible. Their system makes it simple for anyone in sales looking to connect easily on the go, but then have powerful follow-up options in the back end. So if you're looking to pick up Mobilo, I have links in the description for you to purchase. And if you want to know more about the competitors to Mobilo, check out my Smart Business Card comparison video that includes six of them. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. Thank you to Mobilo for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.